Roethlisberger. I think your season's on the line right here, Pittsburgh fans. Here we go. 30th time between Tomlin and Harbaugh. What a decision this is. The game pitches one play. Jackson. Player now. An eligible man downfield. Number 74. That penalty has declined. Third down. Jackson was limping and on the deck right now. Let's see Cormoa. Wilson Cormoa comes down. Oh, and he lands on that left at the back of the left heel. Mm. We're going to take a look at Jackson, who is everything to this offense. Huntley. Pass is broken up. Packers make the play defensively. Stokes was there for Green Bay. Last year was a disappointing season to say the least for the Ravens. Plagued with injuries and COVID, they just couldn't seem to get it right. They were on a tear at the beginning of the season before finishing below 500 at 8 and 9 and 4th in the AFC North. A lot of the times it was because of injuries, many starters were going to be out and so they lost games because of that. But like you saw in the very beginning of the video, there's also times where it's just bad judgment. But the main question is, what is the future like in Baltimore? In 2022, they'll have a revamped roster with a lot of different pieces than they had last year. For starters, Marquise Brown is actually no longer there. He was traded on draft day to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, what did that draft pick give the Ravens? Well, it hopefully gave them a Creed Humphrey-esque player in Tyler Lindenbaum. And just a little side note, the Ravens had one of the best drafts out of this year's class. I mean, getting Kyle Hamilton falling that far down, being able to pick him up and trade away Brown for that uh, 23rd pick, I believe, to get Tyler Lindenbaum, I think that was a great move. They also got David Ojaba, which coming from a Bengals fan makes me mad. He looked so good at Michigan before having that injury during his pro day. And I can tell you right now, I think that once he recovers, he's going to be a great player in the NFL. In free agency, they got Michael Pierce, who was a replacement for Brandon Williams on that defensive line. They also got Morgan Moses from the Jets, a pretty solid starting right tackle, and I think he should be fine as well. You have to remember that left tackle Ronnie Staley was also hurt and only got to play one game last year, and Orlando Brown was traded the year prior to the Chiefs. So that line was banged up. Not to mention that Bradley Bozeman actually got snagged up by the Carolina Panthers, so that center role was completely open before they drafted Lindenbaum. The weakest group arguably has got to be that pass catching group. I mean, Mark Andrews is there. He's an elite top three tight end in the league. I mean, you lost Marquise Brown, who is a solid deep threat receiver, as well as Sammy Watkins in free agency, leaving you only with a few guys. The number one wide receiver prominently being Rashad Bateman. Last year was his rookie season. He played all right, but I could see him taking big strides and could possibly be a really good fantasy wide receiver in late rounds. The question is, is this team playoff ready? You got to remember that they are in the AFC. They play the reigning AFC champions twice a year, not to mention the rest of the AFC North, which is pretty tough when it comes to those rivalry games. The thing is, is that if Lamar can stay healthy, obviously everybody knows what he did in 2019, that MVP season. He is a dangerous threat. However, it seems like his passing options are much more limited, which kind of scares me when it comes to defensive schemes, as I think more coaches will plan around Lamar and him running the ball rather than throwing. But because they did finish last in the AFC North, they get to play a few teams that are definitely not that good. However, I don't think that is enough to be able to overcome and win that division. Personally, I think the Bengals still have this division under wraps. I mean, they only got better over the offseason. I think that will help them just be propelled into 2022. Don't count out the Ravens, however, out of the playoffs. I can definitely see them, and I do have them getting into the wild card. I can see them surprising a lot of people by making a deep run. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We're getting close to 400 subs, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!